Well, we're going to do, because we're in the southeast, we're going to do Eaton Mess, which means you have got to make meringues. <laughs> you I can't what? see you doing. So, I've got to make meringues. So that means okay. a cold, a coolish oven. Not it's only not that, the, no, it's not got, the oven I'm worried about, Phil. <laughs> you're particularly worried because I've got an electric whisk and yeah. you've got to make meringues. So here we are. <laughs> Of course. What's, what is this? Little, little ice cream scoop. No, it's not. This is my egg separator. What's the way that works? Isn't that so clever? Look at that. How are you going to do this? <laughs> You've got no electricity, one assumes. Have you done a risk assessment on that? Oh. <laughs> Julian, what are you doing? So what I need is a nice narrow trench, get a little bit of fire underneath it. We've left just a little bit of a gap at the back. That's going to act as a chimney. I hope I like the taste of soil. Looks like there's going to be a lot in it. So no, Julian, Eaton Ness Meringues, you laughed at my egg separator this morning and you said you don't need it. Eggs come with their own built-in separator. Uh. Split your egg and then just use the shell. This is going to take ages. This is going to take <laughs> for <laughs> I thought this was going to be your whole this bit. And it's taken us about three minutes, I think. Just this a, a good test. If it doesn't fall out over Phil's head. Oh, that, do you know that was actually quite scary? <laughs> right, so I've just put in the, the meringues out on a bit of greaseproof paper. We're just going to be using them to break it up. It's called eating mess because it's a bit messy. So they just need to go in the oven now. They're one hour at this special low gas mark, which you can't do. So that's that bit done. This is the bit that's really fancy. We don't want to put this right on the bottom of the oven because it, that's where the direct heat's going to be. You know. So, so you, know, you, know, you put it middle shelf, don't you? So. We've got a device for making it middle shelf. This device is actually just two plant two, pots. Two plant pots. That'll sit in there, lovely and warm. Just put the hand in there for Oh, wow. Is that a burnt gas mark one? Oh, well, look, as near as I can guess, yeah. What's the rest of eating mess then? You're doing them in fairly big chunks. Yeah, because I'm going to have some of them mashed up and I'm going to puree some of them to make them more like a raspberry ripple. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Three different um, sieve um, apertures. I've lived for 58 years without one sieve. <laughs> now, I also need something to stop the kitchen getting dirty. I've torn a hole in the middle of my origami style. Okay. Right. And there we are. Now, that just means. Can you see it getting. That's, it always clever. Goes in. That's clever. That's clever. Yeah, let's put the strawberries into that now, and then I'll mix them up. You did fancy stuff and put this in a blender and made. I pushed it through a sieve to get it and got rid of the pips and yeah. all that. So I'm just going to fork it. I'm glad you said that, not me. So now what you need to do is the double cream. I'm going to have to stop in a second. I'm running out of steam. And and you go change. <laughs> and an hour has passed. One, beep, 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 beep. <laughs> at one thirty, look at them. They look absolutely wonderful, don't they? They will. So let's get this mixed up nicely. We need Gorgeous. to taste it, don't we? And I like the way you've done that, Phil. So you just get a little bit of, of that puree on the top. It does look It does look really stunning. Mm. So, will you be able to do it? Look at that. Wow. Gee whiz, they're pretty impressive. Right, we've got to let them cool for a bit. I didn't think you'd make those meringues, honestly. That is a shock. It's and a bit of a surprise to me. It was a bit of a surprise. To be, to be honest, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of smokiness in the meringue, is that? and I think that's just because when you open the door of the old <laughs> oven, it just chased on in there. I've had most things smoked in my life, but never smoked meringues. We could. Meringue. Could you see them in the shops? Smoked meringue flavoured, smoked. Old Bull and Bush style, smoked meringue.